Hi, Racia. Uh, I say, I me kavi ba it. I me kavi ba sana. So fresh, so sour. Ina wopesha, mona. Na ina skitisha. Inga wana juwa ndo industry live yo like in Japan. This is too much, guys. It's really, really too much. You know. Na kama kuna mtu serikalini uko ama kuna watu serikalini ambao wapo wanaona haya basi I think it's about time you know kuwaweka hawa watu wawili na kuwatuliza yani Diamond ume umepitia changamoto nyingi sana kwenye maisha kama usemavyo unaona na umejijenga na umefikia hapo ulipo alhamdulillah uh, harmonize pia kama unavyoimba kwenye nyimbo zako sio kari yako sio umepitia wapi na wewe pia umepitia magumu sana lakini alhamdulillah Mungu naye kaona si ndio Mungu amekuwa na nyie na amewa support na na amewapa ame nyota nyota za hatari nilewa nimesema nyota na nani na nani manelewa so i think hapa mlipofikia Yaani unajua unajua kama sisi ndio kaka tupembeni kwa sababu ngoja tuangalie tu itakuwaaje eh, itakuwaaje lakini kwa kwa okay kwa upande wangu to be honest naogopa yani naogopa yani ni mwanzo nilikuwa naichukulia poa poa lakini huko mnakoelekea mm. tukiendekeza huu pupu tukiendekeza kusupport huu pupu bandani ya miaka mitano nyewe mnauana wallahi nakwambia kabisa yani yani nataka kuleta zile zile za kina nipsi za kina tupac za kina nani yani hii beef mnayoifanya sasa hivi hii maana si hii sio beef wet hii ni zaidi ya vita you guys wawili nyie wote ni brands yani two biggest brands in east africa brand mbili ambazo kila brand inataka kumshusha mwenzie kila brand inataka kumshusha mwenzie Naelewa mlikuepo kwenye kwenye lebo. I know that. Everybody knows that. Yes. Kwenye biashara kuna kutoelewana na kuna kuelewana. Biashara inaenda sawa. It's okay. Mmemalizana. Move on. Move on guys. You have to move on. Sasa sasa hivi nakuwa kama tena issue upupu tu ni kituko yani yani vituko yani. Yani what you guys are doing right now? Yani hata mashabiki wenyewe hawaelewi. Yani yani mimi mwenyewe nimeshabiki wa wote. Mimi sina team. Sijawahi kuzaliwa kwenye team wala sijawahi kutumia team kwenye muda wangu wote. Kipindi nafanya muziki. Umeona? So hizi vitu ambavyo mlivitengeneza right now naona kama ndio vinavyotaka vina kuamaliza meaning people don't want to download songs no more people don't want to hear new new albums from you guys no more yani kama album inatoka lazima isindikizwe na kitu fulani lazima isindikizwe na kick lazima isindikizwe na matusi tukanana eh kutumiana watu ku, kuaibishana ku yani ivi nyie kweli to be honest kwa 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 maisha kwa kwa jinsi mlivyopambana mkaipeleka bongo flavor bali kweli kabisa yani ndio mmeamua yani yani kufikia hapo mlipofikia it's not good it's not okay and i'm sure hii message itasikia watasikia mpaka watu wa serikalini pia i don't think if they like what you guys are doing you know it's not good majirani wa Kenya waganda wanaje watu wanaona hii ni mitandao sio this is instagram watu wanaona it's not good na mwisho wa siku mtakuja kutoa na roho wallahi na wambie na wapi kwa sababu i have a very bad feeling about this na naongea sio kwamba kuambia what to do no kama dada tu na kama mwana bongo flavor i 
think you guys need to sit down na malizane. Kwanza sina namba sina namba yoyote na, na kwa sababu mmealeta hapa Instagram na mimi nitaongelea hapa Instagram. You guys need to stop. It is not cool at all. Na naomba tu kama kuna mtu serikalini huko mna watu wenu serikalini wawakalishe mtulie. Yaani mali malize hizi vitu. Yaani huko mnakoelekea, yani naona kabisa Yaani kwa upe wangu mdogo baada ya miaka miwili mitatu mkiendelea hivi nyinyi mtakuja kuuona wallahi nakwambia na naongea na tetemeka lakini i'm telling you ni lazima muache mnachokifanya right now inaweza ikawa nzuri kwa watu tu kupata content menelea watu wakaposti maudaku kaposti watu wampata matangazo yao maisha yanaendelea lakini kwa nyie wawili it is not good not good at all and i'm shaking while saying this and i don't know why but guys yani yani fanyeni mnachoweza wakubwa kama mna mtaiona hii kwazi ndai post na ndai futa wakalisheni hawa hawa madogo wawili serikali na watu wote wakubwa ambao mnajijua ni wakubwa Yo what's good this ladies and gentlemen asante sana kwa kuendelea kulishikilia bango la Bongo Plus kokote wendako endelea hivyo hivyo kufanya kwa sababu Bongo Plus tuko hapa kwa ajili ya kukushikilia wewe na wewe endelea kutushikilia sisi kwa kuzifikisha kwa kwa habari zote tunazogonga vichwa vya habari headlines zote za burudani michezo eh, makara na vitu vyote hapa ni post hem sahihi wewe ambapo unazidaka vizuri sana sasa so, one of the top trending story right now kwenye game ya Bongo Fever ni issue ya harmonize na diamond jana bana harmonize amefunguka vitu zito sana ambapo nimeacha watu wakizungumza watu wakati milioni wazi na hii ni sakata lake la uongo uliopo kati yake yeye na mbosi wake wa zamani hapa na hizi ya leo ya WCB kwa sasa tunafahamu hapo na hizi za diamond hizi siku mbili amekuwa na beef kubwa sana kutupiana vijembe vijembe mbalimbali kwenye mitandao ya kijamii kupitia official account zao lakini pia kupitia official account za watu wao wengine siku hizo anaitwa machawa huyu akisema hili lile akisema lile na hiyo yote ni kutokana na beef iliyopo kati ya harmonize na diamond sasa basi moja kati ya marriage ambao wametumia ukurasa wake wa mitandao ya kijamii na hizi ya account yake Instagram kuzungumzia hiki kitu ni pamoja na bidada Lacey tunafahamu Lacey ni legend ambaye kwenye game ya Bongo Flavor before hata ya hawa watu wawili ambao kwa sasa hivi wanaishika eh, vichwa vya habari Lacey bana alitumia account yake ya Instagram ku post eh, video yenye yenye picha ya Diamond na Harmonize lakini pia ikisikika sauti yake akizungumzia ile sakata la Diamond na Lacey kwenye vitu hiyo ameonekana kama ni mtu ambaye hajafurahishwa na hafurahishi kabisa na tukio zima hao na ili bifrote kati ya Diamond na Harmonize Lacey amefikia mbali na kusema kwamba endapo wataachwa kwenye ndio kusikilizishwa hawazo itafikia stage wataoana kama ambavyo lilitokea beef la Notorious BIG na Tupac Shakur na Lacey akaenda mbali sana na kuomba serikali ingilie kati hii beef la Harmonize na Diamond kwani anaona hali jengi wala alifikishi popote muziki wa Bongo wa Flavor Lacey amezungumza vitu vingi kwa uchungu sana amezungumza kwamba anaona kwamba game ya Bongo Flavor haitofika popote kama tutendeleze hizi mambo za kuchukiana e, akisema kwamba imefikia stage sasa hivi mtu akitaka kuachia albamu hawezi kuachia albamu au ngoma bila ya kutengeneza kitu cha kusindikizia kimaanisha kiki. Hii pia imekaa kama anaisi kama Harmonize ametumia opportunity hii kama kutengeneza kiki kwa ajili ya kupush album yake ya high school lakini pia akaisi kama Diamond pia naye ametumia kiki hii kwa ajili ya kusogeza biz mambo zake mengine. Tunafahamu hao ni watu ambao wanafahamiana wamekuwa kwenye rebo moja kwa zaidi ya miaka mitano lakini issue imekuwa hivyo sasa hivi beef limekuwa ni kubwa sana. Yaani sasa hivi wewe ukaingia Instagram, Twitter, sijui Facebook usikutane na tukio la la ah, hili sakata la Diamond na Harmonize. Sasa Lacey ametumia mkutano wake na kama legend watu wengi wame comment pia baadhi ya watu wengine wamezungumza kwa account zao eh bidada mangi kimambi ametumia ame class wake wa Instagram huyu dada taifa naye pia kutumia kuzungumza kuhusiana na sakata ile huku yake mshutumu zaidi Diamond na kumuita ni mtu mbaya ni mtu ambaye apendi mafanikio ya wengine ni mtu ambaye ana roho mbaya ni mtu ambaye yupo tayari kumdestroy mtu mwingine kwa ajili ya benefit zake mwenyewe sasa watch your comment pia kuhusiana na sakata ya RC ku alichozungumza RC kuhusiana na beef Diamond bado ndosha comment yako hapa lakini pia share comment na like endelea kusubscribe YouTube channel ya Bongo Plus Instagram tunapatikana kama Bongo Plus tufate kule tu follow mimi pia account yangu ya Instagram natumia mixmiss_co alafu nakuometisha next time is gonna be a good day i'm out